Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. My name is Abby and this is Spend More Time in the Wild. We are all about inspiring and empowering individuals to get outside for the benefit of mental and physical health whilst building meaningful connections with the natural world and with each other. Today we're talking about how to pack a backpack. Super simple, so it sounds, but there is actually a very intricate way in which you can pack a backpack that's going to help with stability and it's going to help to reduce the likelihood of you becoming injured when you're hiking out the miles on the trail. So you can see this carnage around me. This is the stuff that I keep in my backpack and basically what I want to do is show you how I pack it. Now this is slightly personalized of course everyone takes different stuff onto the trail. If you're heading out on a day hike you're going to need slightly different equipment so it's going to look a little bit differently but the basic rules are that you're trying to keep the base of the pack squidgy, supportive um, and it'll be things that you really don't need to access very often throughout the day. Then the core of the pack are things that you um, are basically going to try and keep the pack nice and, and steady and stable. The heavier things are in the core of the pack closer to your back and that's going to help with your um, sort of ease of movement and again stability I keep coming back to that um, and then the, the top of the pack is the things that you need to access throughout the day the outside of the pack again also accessories and things that you need to access throughout the day so I've talked about it let's do it base of the pack there I have my tent now not every single backpack has the ability to keep a tent on the outside of a rucksack especially when you're really hiking in the mountains actually it's quite nice to keep your pack the outside of your pack really sort of slick and tidy uh, to minimize the likelihood of things snagging but then again this is a backpacking pack this is not a mountaineering pack and we are talking about backpacking specifically if you are interested in this pack this is the Osprey Exos 48 um, this is a previous generation but they have a new generation you can check out my review of that up above right now um, so I've got my tent on the base anyway that's in the blue dry bag and then what I'm going to do is chuck in my sleeping bag this is my Rab Neutrino 400 so of course nice and squidgy nice and stable really going to just help um, protect the bottom of the pack and the likelihood of me needing my sleeping bag throughout the day is really quite minimal unless it's a proper lethargic day if you know what I'm saying anyway next up I've got my roll back so this is the Thermarest Neo Air uh, I literally pack it like that because there's no point wasting time packing in its little squishy bag thing so this is my Neo Air I place that at the bottom um, and then generally the the next section of your pack will vary it's quite personalized um, but I tend to do things sort of in thirds it just helps to, to bulk out the pack and keep that stability and that shape of the pack so I'll place things like my wash kit I mean tiny little wash kit you can see how important hygiene is for me in fact actually I'll put my um, towel in with that there you go now it looks slightly bigger yay go me uh, so I pop that in there as well because I usually don't need that throughout the day um, then I might take my clothing so Pretty much for anything up to two weeks i'll wear the same pair of clothing when i'm out and about on the trail if you get wet you get stinky you get damp welcome to backpacking but i do give myself the luxury of a dry pair of clothes when i'm at camp so in here i've just got a t-shirt pair of trousers and another sort of thermally top um, and some sleeping socks i haven't really compressed that that much to be honest with you uh, but i keep these sort of well protected in this dry bag these are kind of sacred stuff um, so generally i'll put them nearer to the bottom as well again sort of squidgier um, shape there now i'll take my stove so this is my sort of soto setup you might have a jet boil you might have a trangia you might have some kind of um liquid burning stove whatever it is i generally don't use my stove when i'm out in the day so that goes in there as well all sort of packs in nice and tightly then i've got my first aid kit this is actually my group leading first aid kit it's quite bulky i wouldn't necessarily carry everything in here when i'm on the trail but for the sake of um this video I've just grabbed this first aid kit so pop that one in as well and all of this really is so easily accessible for some people that first aid kit should be on the outside of the pack but for me it's literally a case of take out some jackets and I can get to it easy peasy up next we're talking about slightly heavier items this is my food bag this is just packed for a little micro adventure and overnight trip but you know in reality your food can sort of weigh anything to sort of three four five kilograms if you're going out for a really long period of time and there's nowhere to resupply now this is a real talking point because the heavier items, so i.e. your big bulky food bag, needs to be towards the back, the, the, um, the frame of the pack. It's going to keep it closer to your body, again, going to help with that stability, it's going to help with that central gravity, and it's going to keep you nice and upright when you're on the trail. So I'm placing that closer to my body as opposed to closer to the outside of the pack. And what I'll do is I'll take out the snacks and things that I might want to eat throughout the day and put them on the outside. Those are accessories, they're additional things, I'm taking them away from the centre because I don't need them there. Up next then, just an insulating jacket. 
synthetic Patagonia um, Nano Puff. I tend to just stuff that in the crevices. Uh, it is synthetic, so if my pack gets wet and that gets wet, it's gonna retain my uh, temperature when I wear it, which is awesome. Um, and sometimes I'll just use that, you know, if I stop a bit windy, I'll put that on nice and simple. Then when I'm hiking, I usually even just hike in a base layer, so my Stay Wild t-shirt, um, or I'll wear a soft shell, some kind of soft shell or windproof. I'm literally wearing this Patagonia jacket right now just for the sake of making this video. This is not necessarily part of my packing system. Um, I, instead, I have this jacket, which again is actually a Patagonia. This is a windproof, so I'll either have this or some kind of soft shell. I'll either be wearing it, if I'm not wearing it, I'll stuff it in the front here or just in the, the middle of the pack nice and simple and then right at the top of the pack especially since you're in Scotland you need to be accessible I have got my waterproofs so waterproof trousers have just gotten in there and now I've got my waterproof jacket pop that one in there as well so if it starts raining if I can see a shower coming in or I start getting spat on literally whip that open put it on waterproof cover on good to go back to hiking which is what we do best right okay so all this stuff on my right hand side here is the accessories, the extremities of the backpack. Again, this is very personalized. Every pack is slightly different. This is just how I do it. It's stuff I might need throughout the day. So first of all, we got water. I'll usually carry three or four water bottles. Um, although here in Scotland, it's so easy to resupply right now. Two's doing the job. Um, I'll just have one to filter things through. So I'll pop them on the side. We've actually got a designated water bottle. Access points there. Um, sometimes I'll keep my mug in one of the sides as well. Just means I can get to that if I need it in the day. Then in this front pocket, this bag here is extremities insulation. So essentially hats and gloves, they're just there, ready to go. Again, if the wind picks up or I go up high, the temperature drops, I can uh, layer myself up nice and easy. Also in the front, sometimes in the top, uh, again, waterproofing. So gaiters, ankle protection there, should I be going through a nice boggy stretching, stretching, section even, stretch, section, section, stretch probably with midges, as is the way here. Then I've got camp shoes, so really lightweight flip-flops for me, do the job. I usually just stuff them in there. I generally put those in a bag, to be honest, because they're normally quite wet. Um, thankfully not needed in the glorious sunshine we've got today, but I've got a map case. Keep the map nice and dry, should I need it. And then we're just left with a few more bags. Again, this is personalized stuff. So on the underside of the rucksack, I keep things I generally don't need very often, but I might need, i.e. head torch and my wallet, and then also some personal medication and stuff. Pop that one in there. Everything's in bags because it just helps to keep things dry. And then in the top of the top, I put my toilet kit. You don't want to see what's in that. And then just a whole bunch of other stuff. Sun cream, purification tablets, some, again, more personal medication. I've got a knife. I've got a pacing chart and I've got my toothbrush and my toothpaste because I usually like to do my teeth just as I start to set off on the trail after packing up camp and I'm good to go. And I have a random hand warmer for no apparent reason. So there we go. And that, my friends, is how ugh, I pack a backpack. So just to refresh that, all the sort of bulkier, softer, squidgy stuff that you're not going to need throughout the day is down at the bottom of the pack. The core is made up of the heavier stuff, keeping that closer to your back and then everything at the top and outside is stuff that you might need throughout the day um, or just packing it in the nooks and crannies so you can uh, really bulk out that pack and carry things in the best most efficient way possible any question guys please leave it in the comment section below i'll hopefully try and get back to you as soon as i can but i want to say thank you so much for watching enjoy your adventures and until next time stay wild